Hello chaps and welcome back to Tino Cork here where I'll be showing you a day in a life as a luxury car wash. So let's be going to the start of the day. So I usually wake up early in the morning, get everything ready for the day ahead, grab a quick bite and give the fishes a good meal too. So let's make our way to the first supercar client of the day as I will show you exactly how I clean it to perfection. always nice to see a Lamborghini Urus out on the road. They are one of my favourite cars. Hello chaps, behold your eyes. We've got this absolutely insane Ferrari 488 Pista for a in and out wash. So let's waste no time and get started with the wheels, using a pressure washer to blast off any accumulated dirt. I then use a series of brushes to clean every part of the wheels. A final rinse finishes these wheels off. It's that time of the day, the snowfall. Who doesn't love to see a good snowfall? Not only is it satisfying, but it also does a good job loosening that dirt stuck onto the vehicle. Let's remove the snow from, from the car along with the dirt it has collected. Be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying this, as not only do you get amazing and satisfying content, but I also try and reveal all of my tips and techniques in these videos. Time to hand wash the Ferrari using car shampoo and multiple microfiber wash mitts. So chaps, as a kid, I always dreamed of being a footballer. I worked very hard for this, however, I kept getting injured and I did not achieve my dream. So then, for many years, I felt very lost as I did not know what to do in life. I even tried asking my teachers for advice on what to do, but I had no luck. During this time, I was also working in my father's car wash in my free time. 
Later on, I got a job in construction, however, it just wasn't for me. And it made me realize how much I enjoyed working at the car wash. However, the car wash was sadly closed down, so there was no going back. So I decided to start my own business with the money I saved, but it was a struggle to begin with. However, I knew that this is what I wanted, so I had to work hard. After going months with no customers, I finally succeeded in bringing in loyal clients. And thankfully, I can now make a living doing what I am passionate about. So chaps, if you're feeling lost, don't worry as things will work out. Now that I've got every inch of the pistol in my mitts and the intricate parts of the Tino Detail brush, I rinse off the shampoo. Give this video a like if you've been enjoying it. Now chaps, we need to add some ceramic protection onto the vehicle as the water is just sticking to the car and there is no water beading. So I apply a layer of Tino Ceramic Snow Foam to the Ferrari. This will keep the vehicle cleaner for longer and protect it from the elements. Not only that, it also makes it a lot easier to clean in the next washes too. Just look at the insane level protection as the water just beads off the car now. Amazing results every time, any car. I now dry the car using a Tino drying towel. If you'd like to buy products to clean your own car or your customer's car, then visit the Tino Car Care Store for the highest quality products. As we test everything to the max so you don't have to. We make sure it is perfect before it goes up in the store. An air blower is used to get the water out of those tight little gaps. Okay chaps, so we've just tried the whole car, but as you can see there's still a large amount of lime scale deposits left in the car. So this usually happens when you park your car on the ground or in a garage, as it leaks down from the pipes and ceilings. So what you need is a lime scale remover made for car detailing. So let's sort it out and let's remove it. So chaps, it's quite a long process but it must be done, you just need to keep on wiping and eventually it will come off. With the lime scale successfully removed, I move on and do the door shuts. Look at that beautiful engine. Let's now clean the windows inside and out. I now move on to the interior, removing the dust from the upper surfaces before vacuuming the lower surfaces. So everything you see on this Ferrari was specially chosen by the customer, the seats, the trim, the spec, everything. And honestly, I think the results are perfect, one of the best cars I've seen.
time for the Tino Scrub Pad to give the interior surfaces a deep clean. Stay tuned chaps, the results are going to be insane. Not only that, straight after we are done with this car, we have a beautiful Lamborghini with the most insane engine I have ever heard. Time to go over any imperfections with my exterior detailer. Let's finish this wash with the wheels and tires. Okay, chaps, the Spectre Ferrari Pizza is now ready. Here are the results of the first car. Enjoy. Amazing shine right there. The horn is actually here on the steering wheel. But anyways chaps, let's make our way to the Lambo waiting for us. For all of the true Londoners, comment below if you know which area I am driving through right now. We have this stunning Lamborghini Huracan. Let's take a look at the condition of this car. As you can see chaps, the Lamborghini is quite dirty as it has accumulated a thick film of dirt. I will be also teaching you how to deep clean a soft top roof safely. The interior is definitely in need of some care too, as there's a buildup of dust and dirt. So once again, let's get started with the wheels, as it's best to get them out of the way first since they are usually the dirtiest part of the car. I repeat the same process on the rest of the wheels before moving on to the snow foam.
If you haven't yet, then subscribe and turn on that notification bell to not miss a video. I now leave the snow from on the Lamborghini for a couple of minutes to work its magic and safely soften and loosen the dirt. Let's pressure wash this supercar. Let me know in the comments below, do you prefer Ferraris or Lamborghinis? Entire car and its roof thoroughly rinsed. I snow from the soft top roof and clean it using a soft bristle brush. So, you don't want to use a stiffer brush when doing this process as you can damage the fibers. A leather cleaning brush is perfect to use as it has the right level of stiffness where it won't damage the roof but it will still give it a deep clean. With that done, I move on to the rest of the hurricane with the Tina wash mitts going in straight lines. The Tino detailing brush gets all of those nooks and crannies as I then move on to the lower portion of the Lambo with another set of mitts. Awesome engine. Let's move on to rinse off the shampoo from the Lambo. As you can see, the water is just sticking to the car. If water sticks this easily to your car, imagine the grime will stick onto your car a lot easier. So we need to fix this. So the solution to this is using our Tino Ceramic Snow Foam diluted one to five. Let me show you exactly what this bad boy can do. All you need to do is spray it on the car and rinse it off. It's that easy. As you can see, the water is not sticking onto the car. The same can be said with dirt and dust. If you don't have a snow from Cannon, then don't worry. You can also use the Tinosonic Snow Foam diluted 1 to 10 in a spray bottle. So the Tinosonic Snow Foam is used at the end of the wash when the car is clean and still wet. 
gives an even layer of protection on the core which lasts a solid 1-2 to two months on a regularly driven core. Time to dry the car. Tino Gloss Cleaner is used to give that shriek free finish with ease. With the gloss finish, we can move on to this interior. Heading over to the Tino Car Care Store for the best detailing products. So the Lambo has the Audi type carpets which are a joy to work with as they release the dirt so easily. The Tino scrub pad is used with the interior cleaner to bring the Alcantara back to life. As I try to then point the fibers in the same direction to give that brand new look. I also freshen up the carpets in the same way as I move on and dry the door shuts. Let's do a final check on the Lamborghini to make sure everything is perfect. Let's finish the final detail of the day by shining the tires. Here are your results. Enjoy! Looking very fresh. We have given the Hurricane a brand new look. The interior is looking good too. Let's now make our way to fill up fuel and get everything ready for the next day.
coffee chaps. So to finish off the day, I like to clean the van to make it look nice and fresh. But in the dark, I can't really do a good job as I can't see anything. That's not a problem anymore. With the Tino headlight, I can achieve perfect results. As you can see chaps, all you need is the Tino headlight to do a perfect job at night time. This has been a day in the life of a luxury car wash. I hope you have enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and here are two more videos I think you would like.